Hey, what is up, guys? Today we're going to be looking at this uh, Gigabyte 6800 XT. This came in from a customer who says it's no longer displaying. It slowly faded over time. It was rebooting, and every now and again it would work, not work. So, as you can see, it still has a seal. This doesn't necessarily mean it hasn't been opened because these seals are available and anyone can put one on. But we're going to try and diagnose this and see if we can find the problem. And here we go. So, our multimeter now. Let's try to put this uh, somewhere so we can all see it. Here we go. And in diode mode, check in the first dot up here. 0.85 volts, both fine. I'm going to flip it over to the back. And we're going to check the ref clock plus and minus pins 0 0.86 0 0.86 both fine All right back over to the front and we're going to put it into beep mode so if i touch ground now i get a beep and checking 12 volts from the slot which is fine checking from the external 12 volt connectors Fine. And fine. I'm just going to have a look, see if I can reach in here on any of these other rails. That's V core. 30.6 ohms, so this would be memory, which is great. At least I can see if the memory, then I know it's not short. Uh, the reason I'm doing all these checks is because I don't want to bust the seal if I can actually run a memory test before I do anything. Uh, sometimes you open these cards up and you destroy the thermal pads. We don't want to put a new set on if the card's going to be a write-off. So we would like to run it and do all the tests we can. If we can power it up right now, that would be great. And we'll run a memory test. And from there, we'll see what we can find. Right, so we have our card now stripped down. Uh, the memory test is showing us that... Module F is a problem on this card. This is the module right here. So I think it'll be best if we just lift that and we'll have a look at the traces underneath. And hopefully we're not looking at any core damage. Um, but we'll lift the module first and we'll see from there. Yep, it's on the preheater right now. So we're just going to let this warm up. And once it comes up to temp, we'll look at removing that. These thermal pads on here are an absolute disaster. These look like the original pads that come with the card. And... This is the case. On some of these, you open them, and the pads literally just tear themselves to pieces. They've adhered so well to both sides. The card shows no signs of bending, so maybe it is just a module failure this time. It'll be a nice change for a gigabyte card. So just uh, checking the space now. It's a little tight on my camera here. I have to lift it a bit. We just move it to the side. That'll work. Yep, yeah, that should suffice. Right, so we have no missing pads or anything on there. So we're just going to replace the module right now and see if that solves our problem.
having some difficulties lining this up without putting my head directly over the module because that's where the camera is. And maybe that's my punishment for not working under the microscope. But we're there. Yeah, I'm happy now. So just gonna give it a little press. Uh, right, so we just want to talk about the color of the module you're looking at right here. Um, the browning on the module is an indication that the module has been overheated, but it wasn't from our installation temperatures. Rather, it was a batch of about 20 modules that came from our supplier. They were all brown in color. And we're just about done with them. We have about two left in the pack. And we haven't had any issues with all the other ones up until this point. So we've decided to carry on using them. Um, but yes, we are aware of the browning on the module. I'm going to slide it back over to the side. My hot air station can clear the camera. And the module's turned back on. Okay, just sliding. It's pushing back to the center, so it's lining itself up. And we should be good. So once this cools down now, we'll give it another test and see if it'll boot for itself. All right, so here's our card now ready for testing. We've replaced that module and we've done a memory check on the resistance. And we had 18 ohms. The card was still a little warm at the time, but 18 ohms is perfectly normal for Samsung memory. And we're going to go ahead now and boot it and see if we can get an image out of it. Okay. Is getting warm and we have an image so we're going to go ahead now and close this up and we'll continue with heavier testing so yeah it's just a quick look at the card before we close it up so we've got a new set of pads all the way around um, from the vrms all the way through vram and we've also given it a fresh coat of paste and the card's now ready to be closed up and we'll test it again from there all right, so as you can see now, the card's been on test for a few minutes and everything seems to be running perfectly fine. The temperatures are pretty normal for a 6800 XT. And we're going to move it on to our 4K rig for better testing. But so far, this repair looks like it's all good. Uh, we... Okay, so that was a simple and straightforward repair. Nothing too complicated about that. It's just a simple memory module. Uh, the card is now on our 4K rig here behind me and it's on test. We'll leave it there for some time. Make sure we're happy with it before we return it. Try and catch any problems if there's any. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you're looking to get in touch with us and you're looking to send a device in for repair, you can contact us via our website at bokmin.co.uk or via our eBay page. The link is on the main page from our website. Thank you very much for watching.